Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to be learning about sounds and instruments within machine. So let's go ahead and click on group A. And now that I've selected the A group, I can select any pad that I want. So I'm going to select the first pad for this uh, tutorial. And now we can click on this browse over here. And you can see that you're in this category on the left. Just make sure that you're hitting one of these top two uh, left buttons over here and scroll all the way to sounds. You'll see instruments and effects. We want to go to sounds and even on the software, you can see it over here. So go to sounds wherever you see this all sounds and inside of sounds, you can see that we have two categories, which is the drums and the instruments. So this is the machine's inbuilt library of sounds. And you can even select it from your mouse on your software over here on the left side. So you can click on drums or instruments. So we're going to go to drums and inside of drums, we have all these different things. So I can either move them with my second knob, which is the subcategory of drums, or I can use it uh, from my software by clicking on these individually. So even if I move it on my software, you can, on my hardware, you can see it moving on the software. So let's go to clap and using the far right knob on your machine, we can scroll down and go to a clap that we like and whichever one you like, you can select it by hitting the load button. So because I had the first pad selected, I hit the load button. It's going to place that clap on that pad. But if I have a different pad selected, let's say like that one, and I hit load on that, then it's going to load it on that pad. And if you want to erase that sound, you can hold the erase button and then the shift and then hit that pad and then it's going to raise that sound. So now that sound is gone. Now we just have one sound on the first pad. So now that we have this clap over here, we can click on this browse button again and it'll exit from the browse menu. And you can see all these effects that we have on the left and these knobs. And you can scroll through the effects that our sound comes with by hitting the third button from the top right over here and you can navigate through our effects. So right now this has a meta verb and a maximizer. So let's say I select the meta verb by scrolling to the meta verb. You can also see that on your software screen over here on, on this little square window uh, on the left, uh, these are all your effects. So I have the snare, I have the maximizer and the meta verb and all these controls that are here on the side, you can also see them on your machine on the left screen over here, right over here. So my output mix right now I can increase that with the knob or reduce that. And then we can take it all the way to hundred. All right. So now let's go into the browse menu again by hitting browse on your machine and also delete the sound by hitting erase shift and selecting that sound. And then it's going to delete that specific sound or that pad. And then let's go to the a different subcategory. So let's go to kicks and I'll pick a some some kind of kick. And if I load that and I hit browse again, then I have these different kind of parameters. So in the first knob I can change from push to let's say grit. And it'll just give you different different kinds of kicks. And you can also change this on your software over here. So when you go through different ones, you get different kinds of effects and controls. So now I'm going to erase this sound by hitting erase shift, selecting that sound. And that's basically how you can go through all these different categories in your drums and scroll through something and select that. You can also hit next instead of scrolling to a sound and hitting load every time. So if I hit next, it's just going to load the next sound. All right, so now let's select a second pad and use a kick drum for it. So I'm going to go to kicks and grab a kick. That's actually a really bad kick. All right, so let's go to uh, another pad and go to our browse option and let's go to an instrument. And in this instrument, we have a lot of subcategories. So let's go to keys and I'm going to pick a piano sound. 
And now there's a grand piano on here. So now I'm going to select that sound. And then I'm going to hold shift and hit pad mode. And now that's given me my piano note across a whole range of notes. So that's more than an octave. So this is velocity sensitive right now. And if I hit pad mode and select fixed velocity on the screen on the left, then everything will be playing at maximum velocity. And now you can hit shift and pad mode and you exit pad mode and now you're back in your drum kit. And similarly, you can do pad mode on any sound. So if I do it on the snare, select the snare, hit shift, pad mode, So that is pad mode for you and feel free to go on your browse and select whatever sounds and instruments you want to select, load them up using the load button and hit on browse again, select this left or right arrow to go through all your options and start moving your knobs around and see what they can do. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.